Um, I'm getting started on some of the framing downstairs in the front of the house. This happens to be the bathroom. Uh, framing this out so that I can do the sheathing on it. And so I can start working my way up because it's just cutting studs and nailing them in place. Well, the framing down the cellar on the exterior wall is done. As you can see, I've got uh, three windows here. And you got a pretty good view of the horses out there. I know we get a lot of sun in here in this, this, is this time of year under the floor, but we may put a pergola or something out there in the, to combat that. And, some of you are probably wondering, there are no jacks. I mean, these header, these little, these pieces here, they're not supported by a jack on any of them. Well, the reason why I did that is because there is a giant header up in the floor system. That's an eight by eight, it spans the whole thing. And these are actually double two by tens. Uh, over all of these so to make this little piece a structural part of the he header system is kind of redundant they're there mainly to support the windows and the siding and this, so anyway there you have it if you were wondering well, how come there are no jacks and I own I didn't triple these up because uh, I want these windows close together they're not mold uh, together they're going to come separate the windows and there'll be enough uh, for a nailing the nail the nailing flange on either on the outside so there's plenty of room there I wanted to get them as close together as possible 
to get some kind of continuous view and there'll probably be a, wi a window in the door Kristen has. Well, um, you hear the echo? I'm in our cellar. And yesterday we got the deck on, which is making this a nice, finally a nice shady spot to work. And it's so hot out there that um, I'm going to try, I'm going to make the cellar stairs today. Get started on them, and um, <clears throat> I might work this evening on them too, and try to get them finished up. There. They're going to come down to a landing, and because of the headroom requirements, we're actually going to have two steps down to another landing, and then back. Oh, point you out over here, see. So the uh, two steps down to a, a second landing, and then down into the cellar here. This actually eats into the, uh, the bathroom floor upstairs because the bathroom floor wall is four inches here and it comes straight across. But uh, this actually is going to be up into that space a little bit because <clears throat> I need the headroom to get down to the second platform. You need at least six foot eight. And I thought, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? And then I said, well, I can, even if I make that bump up there, I can hide that inside of the cabinet for the sink so that when you walk into the bathroom, you'll never know that underneath part of the sink is the floor is bump, bumped up. So um, I won't tell anybody if you won't, and we'll all be legal here, and it'll look like magic. And the next step is to uh, establish the height of this platform and build that first. And but there's going to be a rise of 7-Eleven. So a rise of 7 and a run of 11. And that, those are kind of the magic numbers. If you can achieve those, you'll get a very comfortable stairs. And, um, Pretty lucky we were able to get that almost to the T, seven rise and 11 run. And uh, these aren't gonna be, these stairs are gonna be carpeted um, so that our dog feels comfortable going up and down them. And uh, so nobody slips down them as we get older. They're not gonna be nicely varnished oak treads that look pretty and are very slippery in socks. We're not doing that. so. Uh, this is going to be an old person friendly house. <laughs> so, uh, there's no, so nothing special for the treads and the risers. I just made a simple platform here. That's the correct height. It's just out of stock I had hanging around. Two bodies that were bent. I cut the short pieces out, it won't matter. I got to go find some, I know I have some stock set aside for stair springers it was supposed to be for uh, my parents barn I was going to redo the stairs in there I don't know probably four years ago so there are two by twelves down there I don't know how long they are I need ten footers for this run and I know that they have been they're in a barn so they've been dry for four six seven years whatever it's been so I'm gonna go steal those because we're not gonna change the stairs in the barn. And they'll work perfectly for here. Don't tell anybody. I saw them, so I don't think anybody even knows they're there. All right, well, I laid out uh, one of the uh, stringers. This is the bottom. And I've seen people cut this straight off here, but that's not right. This actually comes down it laps over this so that's what that is it's all laid out at uh, uh, 11 run and 7 inch rise and this is the top looks kind of oh, sorry this is the top there's a beam up here that's why this funny notch uh, I'm gonna cut it out and put it in and see if the treads are level
see what it is for the level here. Oh, look at that. That looks as good as it's going to get. Right on the money there. Um, when you're cutting stair stringers, you've got to remember to take uh, the thickness of the threads off of the bottom, the very bottom here, because this is actually the finished floor height. And we're going to add thread onto this, so these are all 7 inch rises. But this one here can only be 6 and a quarter, because by the time I add a tread onto this, It'll make a uh, three quarter square, it'll make it seven inches. So it's seven down to this finish height. And uh, the top up there is seven inches from here to here because we're going to add a thread onto here and a three quarter inch finish floor up there. They're both getting three quarters of an inch, so it'll continue to be seven inches of a rise. So these are. Um, Unusual, they, they, I, I don't know why I saw them two by 14s, but that's what was in the barn. They're usually two by 12s, so they're usually a little thinner, probably 11 and a half, but this is not hurting anything to have them extra thick. So, here's number one, I've got a, two more to do. Um, I finished cutting the stringers this morning. They needed a little tweaking up top there's, there's some differences going on up there, but basically they're uh, in place. They're not screwed in place, but they're where they're going to be going. And yesterday, our last clip, I talked about they've been in the barn for, I don't know, four or five, six years. And so they're really dry. They're stable. They reached a stable point, and which is good for stair stringers. Because if you put them in, even KD uh, stair stringers, they're going to acclimate to the house, which is a lower relative humidity. And they're basically going to shrink in this direction. And what happens when that ha after you've cut your stairs, you install them, they're perfect. Put the level on them. Oh, gee, you're right on the money. And then um, they dry out. And what happens is uh, this triangle retracts back in because it's shrinking up and the, the riser tips in and the tread tips down slightly so if you very 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 common for um, stairs that have been in place for a long time you put the level on them and they're not even they're not none of them are level it's because all of the stringers have shrunk they probably right when they were installed but they shrunk over time Shouldn't have the problem with these, and I don't really care because these are cellar stairs. They're not decorative stairs leading up to a second floor. Um, the other solution is to use engineered lumber for these, which is very stable for the stringers, but most people don't do that either. So uh, I'm going to get them in the exact locations and, uh, and screw them in place. Very typical to add a 2x4 along the edge here so that you have room for a skirt board and sheet rock. And I think I'm going to hold them in an inch and a half. Um, yeah, I'm going to put that on after the fact. And the one on the other side, I think I'm actually going to leave that off. I'm going to space it out, but leave it off because. Quite often those things fill up with sheetrock dust and debris and you lose your pencil down there when you're doing the stairs and pain in the ass. This way stuff will just uh, fall straight through down, down to the bottom. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, get them in the right location and screw them in place and throw the treads on temporarily. So as you can see I went to town and got some plywood and I put it on the deck here, uh, the platform. So it's uh, three feet, three quarters of an inch. So when I put a riser on here, it'll be the code of three feet by three feet. And then I just uh, put the stringers in 
in the right place and they are screwed in place. They could have some more screws, but they're not going anywhere. And then I put one screw in every tread because I forgot to pick up more screws. So the treads are temporarily screwed in place. And now I'm working on uh, the lower section. All right, I got uh, a little bit more done. Got the lower platform and those other treads in place. <clears throat> and code says from the front of the nosing, which is going to be out another inch or so, it's going to be right on this line here. It needs to be six foot eight. Well, six foot eight is actually up by here, so I actually. By the time you count this, you're actually on the, bottom, the next step. Ooh, you can't really see what's going on in here. Uh, but from this step here, it's six foot eight, which is the code. So actually, and we need a platform that's at least three by three, and both of them made. So uh, anyway, that platform's three by three, and the other one is. And I think what I'm going to do is make a tread that goes all the way around here. And so that way you can step off in any either direction. As they are. Here they are. If you walk down the hall. Down these steps. There'll be a window up here, down around, and those steps there. And put you down into the cellar. Alright, I finished the little wraparound stair at the bottom, stair tread. And I really like it because uh, electrical panel is going right here. And that way you can step off the electric, you know, step off and go to the electrical panel. Or you can go in any direction down cellar. So it's not limiting. I don't need a railing. It's going to be great. There you have it. I'll just get this one uh, posted. And um, stay tuned for more interesting stuff. See you later. Thanks for watching.